Hello YouTube, um, today I'll be explaining the basic elements of C Sharp programming. I have a sample I made here for a tutorial that was ruined because I forgot to record the sounds. So here we have um, a variable explained, some conditions and the uh, basic if loops. So string b is declaring that b is a string. Um, so, uh, there are multiple data types, the main ones are int, um, boolean, int stores numbers, boolean stores true or false, um, we have double, which stores like 1.5 or 2.5, whatever, we have load, that stores like 1.5f, don't know why, we have char, that stores like uh, one letter, one character of your keyboard, whatever. These are the basic data types. Here I'm just using string B. Now in C sharp, you end all the lines with the symbol. This tells C sharp that this instruction is over. Because imagine you don't use this here, it will be the same than using this. And this makes no sense whatsoever. If you use this, it will be tolerable. But without this, not never. Here it's right. It it writes a line saying, say one for happy or zero for sad. Here it uh, asks the user to print something, to write something and press enter. Now if b equals one, that is our result. It will print. So you're happy. That is good. New line. This represents new line. Goodbye. If is zero for sad, it will say you're sad, that's bad, goodbye. Otherwise, it will blame and flame the user, saying he's trying to trick. Then, it uses a function to break the console from exit immediately by asking the user to press enter to execute this order before leaving. So, let's see what we have out of here. Uh, if I say one, I am happy, that is good, please enter as it to goodbye. So, uh, if you type zero, uh, right over here, if you type zero, it says I'm sad, which is bad, goodbye, press enter to as it. I see I still have a lot of time, um, let's go for something else. I'm going to teach you the four and while loops, four and while. So, with the for loops, I'm going to teach a while one first. So, imagine we, decli we declare uh, an in a new int a equals zero. And the string, which is li uh, string b, equals line plus a dot two string. So, this sets a to zero, and this sets b to um, line which dots uh, a string, which is the string representing the number in a. Now we're going to use a while loop. So while a is smaller or equal to ten, oops, um, we will be print writing to console console dot write line like I explained before. B ten a oops. Never forget that I told you before. A plus plus close the while loop. Now don't forget that again. Now this is going to close of a sudden because we have no breakpoints and no function to ask user to press enter. Now that I added the breakpoint, it's also bad because the string is not being defined. Let's try um because it's not being updated, I mean. Let's try line plus a dot two string. This will do. Now, uh, with the breakpoint, it will break. And you see it prints on the first execution, it says zero. Then it adds a and says one, two, three, until ten. Now, if we remove the breakpoint, this happens and we don't want this. So we add this function um, console.writeLine 
press enter to exit um, now um, console dot read line not sure just test yeah that's it now when it does the executions it asks the user to press enter to exit and that's it now plus plus means is the same thing a equals a plus one or a plus equals one plus equals is like a equals a plus something whatever here like a plus equals five and five is whatever let's see it now as you can see it only executed two times or three because zero five ten now uh, the four loops the last ones we'll be making are nearly the same function as the while loops but are a little bit harder to understand and so first you don't need to declare the variable before you can just declare it right away I shouldn't have done that um, so first you declare the variable int a equals zero this is the start now um, a smaller or equal to 10 so it's it on the start it sets a to 0 and 10 while uh, a is smaller or equal to 10 it will make a plus equals to plus equals 5 now we just close it here and it we just we cut the increment from here we add the increment there we add the condition for the loop to end and the start of the loop now if you see here it does exactly the same just with a little bit more time wasted right in the for loop so i hope you enjoyed my first tutorial of c sharp uh, the next tutorial will include forms and properties of forms and the for each loop for arrays i hope you enjoy it and uh, goodbye